Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your ELO screen, Lightspeed's recommended screen for the kitchen display system, and connect it to your POS. The KDS displays customer orders on a screen, so they can be made by a kitchen, bar, or other production site. The ELO screen can be mounted to a wall or other surface for easy use. We won't be covering this in this video. However, there are step-by-step -step instructions included in the box. The ELO screen is easy to set up and seamlessly connects to your back office and POS using a code found in your POS settings. To begin, let's make sure you have everything you need. In the box you will find your ELO screen, the power adapter, and the power cable. Start by plugging one end of the power cable into the rounded port on the adapter. Then, plug the adapter into an outlet. Finally, plug the other end of the cable into the circular port on the back of your ELO screen. Your ELO screen will then power on automatically. And to manually turn on the screen, press and hold the power button found on the back. Give it a moment to load. You'll then see a start button on screen and the option to set your language. By default, the language is set to English, United States. For this video, we'll use English. Tap Start. You'll now be prompted to connect to your network. We recommend that you connect to your network via an Ethernet cable, directly into your modem or router. The ELO screen is also Wi-Fi capable, which we will use to connect in this video. Select your network from the list of available connections. Then, input your password. Then, tap Connect. Once connected, the device will begin installing updates. Once the updates are complete, you'll be prompted with the option to copy data from a Google account. Tap Don't Copy. After a moment, you'll be asked to sign into your email. Tap Skip. Then you'll be prompted to confirm that you wish to skip. Tap Skip. The Google Terms of Service will then appear on screen. Tap More. Then tap Accept. You'll then be asked to set a lock screen code. If you don't wish to do so, tap skip. The screen will then run more updates. Give it a few minutes. Afterwards, you'll be brought to the dashboard. You are now ready to connect your POS to the KDS. Let's start by opening the browser on the KDS. For this video, we will use Google Chrome. Next, on your POS, go to Settings. Then tap Kitchen Management System. In the first section, you'll see an IP address. Type the IP address into the search bar in the browser on your ELO screen and tap enter. You've now accessed the KDS on your ELO screen. You'll now be prompted to complete a few setup steps. First, you'll be asked to choose your language. For this video, we'll choose English. You'll now be prompted to input the connection code. Back on your POS, under the kitchen management setting, under Server, you will see the connection code, 7194. Type in the code, then tap Connect. You'll then be asked to give a name to your station. This will help identify your KDS station and its purpose in your restaurant. For this video, we'll call it Kitchen, then tap Enter. Finally, you will be prompted to choose a production center. For more information on production centers, click the link in the description for the Help Center article Select your production center, and then tap Save and Continue. The KDS UI will appear on screen, and you are now ready to process orders. To make the KDS full screen, tap the Full Screen button on the top right corner of the screen. Now, let's run a quick test to ensure the KDS and the POS are properly connected. On your POS, start an order. Then tap Send. If successful, the order you just placed will show up on your KDS screen. To process the order from start to finish, tap the play button on the order card. This tracks the status of the order and what time each step of the process has started. The play button will turn into a bell icon to indicate when the order is ready to be collected. Tap the bell and the card will turn green, indicating it's ready to be completed. Tap the check mark to simulate an order being collected and the order will then be sent to the completed orders section. Your KDS and POS are now connected, and you're ready to use your KDS to track more orders. And that's it. If you have any more questions or need any more information about your POS and KDS, 
visit the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.